Hey folks, uh, this is Jonathan Bowen with Bowen Real Estate. Uh, and this is uh, 19 Leroy Street in Dorchester. It's a single family on the market for uh, $105,000 as of today, March 23rd, 2010. So let's go take a look at the exterior first. I just uh, was able to uh, take a quick look at this. It does have a driveway and that looks to be asbestos siding. And that siding looks like it's pretty tough. I mean, it can be fixed, but it's got cracks all up it, all, all up the side of it. Um, a little backyard here, and uh, you know they, had a, they did a great paint job on this as well. So uh, she's a real beauty. So uh, this is the. Uh, so this is the rear of the property, okay? So, let's take a look inside and see what we have. Well, you know what I should do? I should show you the neighborhood real quick as well. It's a mix between three family properties. There are some uh, big bricks down at the very end. And there are some single family properties on the street as well. So it's a big mix of a neighborhood here. So it's not gonna be all single families. Um, so, let's take a look at this, uh, beauty. Alright, stairs leading up to the second floor. And the first, uh, well, let's go this way, I guess. The first thing I get when I come in here, and I wish I could convey the smell of this place. Uh, it smells between something like dead people and, uh, just dirty, dirty, dirtiness. Uh, it's a real, real tough smell. This is the uh, beautiful kitchen here. Uh, and then you have a, let's see, let's see, it's a dining room here. Wood paneling from the 70s and the, and the uh, drop ceiling from the 70s as well. And this is your living room. Actually, it does have hardwood floors that look like they're in decent shape, actually. Um, so that's it. Oh, look, pocket doors. Oh, they would have been so nice. But, uh, oh well, not anymore. So let's head, uh, let's head upstairs, okay? And I've already been in here to take a look at it before I started recording, so I know I'm not gonna fall through. Actually, they're pretty sturdy. All right, we'll go straight to the first bedroom here. And I would say it's probably 10 by 10. Not very large. And I don't know what they did here. They boxed in the old, uh, they boxed in the old, uh, uh, closet it looks like. And we'll go over to the bedroom next to it. And this looks like it's probably 12 by 10. This is a little bit bigger. It looks like there's some water damage here. All right, carpeting on the floors, and man, it does stink in these, it does stink in these rooms, I gotta tell you. oof. Um, oh, let's go to the bed, bathroom here, beautiful bathroom. All right, sorry that you had to see what was in that toilet, but that's what you get with these bank-owned properties. All right, and then we will go to the third bedroom on the second level. And this is probably, eh, this is probably 10 by 14. So this would be considered the master. You know, a little closet. All right. And then this, uh, I guess the saving grace of this house is that, that it does have a third level. Oh, actually, you know what? There's another very small, I, I would call this an office, actually. This is probably 8 by, eh. Eh, seven by seven, six by six maybe. But definitely a good little office though, I'll tell you. So, and this is again on the second level. So let's go up to the third level, very steep stairs. Going up, this is, uh, well, almost up to the stairs is an eave. All right, so you can't really see in there, it's too dark. And then you have a sub panel right here that somebody put in. So, let's see, what do we have here? We have one back room here. And this is probably hmm, eight by 12. You do have the ceilings that are pitched 
but they're not too bad. Yeah, 8x12, and they do have some hardwoods. Uh, looks like white pine in a closet. All right. And then, you know, you have your pitched, pitched, uh, pitched uh, ceiling in here as well. And uh, this is another closet in the front bedroom, I would guess. I guess you would call these bedrooms. I, they're calling it a six bedroom, I think, on the listing sheet. Best case, five. I'm going to shut off these lights as we go down because I don't want to come back up here after this. Uh, best case, I would call it five bedrooms. But as you can see, two of them are up on the third level. But I guess I will say that you know, they're actually pretty decent size on that third level there. Let's shut off some lights as we go down. And I am going to head down, down to the basement with you. And um, this is a very dark basement. I did already notice that there's water in the basement. Today it's been raining out. Um, I don't know if you're going to be able to see much with the resolution on this, on this phone here. All right, let's see what we can see, though. There's your uh, electrical. Okay, there's your meter. And then right next to it is the gas meter. I don't know if you can see the gas meter back there. Maybe a little bit. So it does have gas, and then this is your heating systems, forced hot air. It looks like it's, eh, I don't know, 20, 30 years old. I know you can't really see it very much. And then there's back there, and it's black, but it's the back door to the uh, building. Um, and that's it. That's the whole shoot and match. Um, any questions, feel free to give me a call. Um, you know my contact information. It's Jonathan Bowen at Jonathan Bowen Real Estate. And uh, thank you for taking this uh, tour. I can now get out of here. Out of the stink. All right, thanks a lot. Have yourselves a good day.